How to do, sit Shiva. In Hebrew, Shiva means the number seven. It also denotes the seven-day mourning period after the burial of a close relative, spouse, parent, child, or sibling. Instruction Step 1 To avoid paying attention to appearance, some Jews cover mirrors throughout the home with fabric or paper. Step 2 To mark this mourning period, don black clothing, wear non-leather shoes, and don't apply makeup or shave. Step 3 Light a tall candle, or specifically a Shiva candle from a funeral home, that will last through the entire seven days of mourning. Step 4 Visit the loved one's grave on the seventh day. Did you know, if a Jewish festival occurs after the first day of mourning, the Shiva ends early, and if a burial takes place during a holiday, the Shiva begins when the holiday ends. Quick tip, relatives and friends of the mourners prepare food on the first day of Shiva. This meal is called Sudat Havra and typically includes bread, eggs, and lentils. Step 5 Accept assistance from family and friends for meals, errands, and so forth. Step 6 Set your own hours of visitation and let people know through word of mouth and slash or by posting signs. Quick tip, the deceased are buried as soon as possible, generally within 24 hours, but no mourning or burials are to occur on the Jewish Sabbath, or Shabbat. Step 7 Pray for the deceased every day with the mourner's Kaddish. Normally, an elder or someone held in high esteem is asked to lead the prayer. Step 8 Focus on the loved one who has passed. Place a photograph of the deceased in a visible spot, look at other photos and share memories with those who come to pay Shiva calls. Step 9 Pick a location to house the Shiva. This is usually the home of the closest relative to the deceased who can accommodate a large number of people.